Hello students, welcome to RH Chemistry. In today's small video, let us discuss about five key factors which affect the acidic nature in the organic compounds. So those five factors are charge, role of atom, resonance, inductive effect and orbitals. Before going to discuss in detail about these five points, first we will see some basic knowledge about the acidic nature. Yes, here we are talking about mainly Bronsted acidic nature. So Bronsted acids are the proton donors and Bronsted bases are the proton acceptors. Right, we know that. A conjugate base is the one which you obtained when you remove a proton. So when you remove a proton, you will get conjugate base from the one particular substance. When you add a proton, you will get conjugate acid for that particular substance. And very important thing is, acidic nature depending on, remember, stability of the conjugate base. Now you can say, anything which stabilizes the conjugate base will have increased the acidity. So remember always, here we are not talking about, don't confuse with the concept that conjugate base, if it is stronger, then conjugate acid is weaker. If the conjugate acid is stronger, conjugate base is weaker. That is totally different concept that we are not discussing now. So here you see, anything which stabilizes the conjugate base will have increased the acidic nature. So remember that point. In later part, I will explain once again. Higher the pK, lower is the acidic nature. Sometimes what happens in the exam, they will give you in the order of increasing pK, decreasing pK like that. They may not ask you to arrange them in the increasing order of acidic nature or basic nature. But remember this point, higher the pKa, lower is the acid, higher is the acidic nature, lower is the pKa. Remember that point. So quickly we will go to first point that is charge. So here you can see acidity increases with increase in positive charge. Remember that point very very important. Because whenever it is having positive charge the meaning is that it is proton rich. So remember proton rich in this particular case I am talking about. So neutral is H2O but one H, H you have added here to form H3O plus. So that H can be given very easily to become neutral. So hence remember acidic nature increases with the increase in positive charge. So H3O plus is more acidic than H2O than OH minus. Like that NH4 plus is more acidic than NH3 than NH2 minus. Remember this point. Second one, role of the atom. Here it plays a very important role along the period and uh, down the group. So down the uh, group it should be, not period, down the group. Yes, across the period what happens? Acidic nature increases with electronegativity. We know that HF is stronger acid than H2O, than NH3, than CH4. Because fluorine is more electronegative. Because of that reason H plus donation is very easy for this to become F minus ion. But down the group what happens is HI is stronger acid in this group. HF, HCl, HBr, HI. HI is stronger because HI is having less bond dissociation enthalpy due to larger bond length. So increase in size, acidic nature increases down the group. Remember, it's just like here also. H2S is more acidic than H2O, I can tell. Because H2S, OH, H and S bond, if you see, it is more longer than O and H bond. Hence, this can give H plus very easily. So that acidic nature for H2S is more than H2O. Third point is resonance. See, resonance will increase the stability of the conjugate base. Hence, increase the acidic nature. Here you can see, whatever the point I have told here, here I will explain. For example, here you can see the phenol and the CS3OH, methyl alcohol. I can say phenol is more acidic than CS3OH. The reason for that is after giving proton. See, after giving proton, Andre, after removing proton, it will form a conjugate base. Conjugate base is phenoxide ion. Conjugate base is more stable due to resonance. Conjugate base is more stable due to resonance because of that reason. Remember, phenol is more acidic than CS3OH. Similarly, in this case, remember, when the acetic acid is more acidic than alcohol, the reason for that is after removing this H, so carboxylate ion which is going to form CS3CO minus is more stable due to resonance. So because of that reason, remember resonance also plays a very important role. Always resonance will increase the stability of the conjugate base. Hence thereby it will increase the acidic nature. Yes. Fourth point we will see. So generally if the question is asked like this, this is the question for you. See which proton in red, red you can see this proton or this proton would you expect to be more acidic? Remember, this particular thing you have to comment the answer whether it is A or B. Remember that. Yes, fourth point, inductive effect. In case of the inductive effect, what happens is electron withdrawing substituents can increase the acidity of nearby atom which increases with electronegativity and decreases with increasing distance of the atom. 
very very important point is that electron withdrawing substituents can increase the acidic nature so inductive effect i am talking about i am not discussing resonance effect that i will take it in the next page so always inductive effect increases with the electronegativity and decreases with the increase in distance for example here you can say cs3fcoh right so here fluorine is there more acidic than cl than br than i than cs3coh so f more than cl more than br more than i electronegativity order we know that yes now increasing with the distance you can say see decreases with increase in the distance see here br is attached to this carbon so from third carbon from this coh so here second carbon from coh first carbon from coh because of that reason i can say that this is weaker acid than this than this because as the distance increases remember inductive effect goes on decreases so because of that reason i can say this is more acidic than this and this remember that and the fifth point is orbitals see higher the s character of the orbital so bond to hydrogen the more is the acidic it will be so very simple higher the s nature more is the acidic for example sp hybridization more acidic than sp2 than sp3 because 50% 33% 25% right now you can see alkyne that is ethyne is more acidic than benzene benzene is more acidic than ethane remember here you can take ethene also no problem or benzene more acidic than ethane like this now you will see something extra when it comes to aromatic acids. So effect of substituents on the acidic character of phenol and benzoic acid. Simply you remember electron withdrawing group increases the acidic nature. Electron donating group decreases the acidic nature. Electron withdrawing group increases the acidic nature. Electron donating group decreases the acidic nature. So remember that point very very important. Here electron withdrawing group we will call it as so plus R effect or plus M effect. Right. Electron donating group. Oh, here I have written a reverse. Uh, electron withdrawing groups, remember, minus R or minus M. Electron donating group plus R or plus CM. So, quickly we will see the order of that. See, this is the order. Order of plus M or plus R. See, O minus more than NH2, more than OH, more than OR, more than PH, more than F, Cl, Br, I. Minus R effect, NO2 is very stronger electron withdrawing group than cyanide, than aldehyde, ketone, COOR, ester, COOH and CONH2. Remember this point. Now quickly we will see in this particular case here you can see order para nitrophenol is more than ortho nitrophenol more than nit meta nitrophenol than phenol. So nitro group is electron withdrawing group. Remember electron withdrawing capacity is more at the para position than ortho position than meta position and phenol is more less acidic. Yes. Here you can see phenol is more acidic than metacrizol. Crizol means CS3. CS3 is having electron withdrawing group, electron donating group, remember. Electron donating nature which is less at this meta position. Because of that reason, metacrizol is more acidic than para, more acidic than ortho. Remember this point. Meta, para, ortho when it is electron with donating nature when it is present. Here, as the electron withdrawing group increases, acidic nature increases. 2, 4, 6, trinitrophenol, 2, 4, dinitrophenol, 4, nitrophenol, phenol. Now you can see this order. So this order you can read that very simple one. So all those acids order have given. Now the question is out of these three, which is more acidic? Definitely NO2 group is more electron donating, electron withdrawing. So it is more acidic than Cl more than F. The reason for F is having uh, a less acidic nature. The reason for that is F is having stronger minus I effect also compared to Cl. Hence, remember, it is least acidic than Cl also. So, plus R effect more dominating in, remember, oh, this fluorine than chlorine. Plus R effect more dominating, I have already given fluorine man chlorine. Remember that point. Yes. Para nitrobenzoic acid. So, more than para chlorobenzoic acid. Here you can see in the benzoic acid, para nitro, more than para chloro, more than benzoic acid, para methyl, para hydroxy. I will tell you one important fact that is ortho effect. Ortho effect is nothing but because of the steric hindrance, irrespective of the nature of the substituent, ortho substituted benzoic acids are more acidic than benzoic acid. Remember this very, very important point. So, ortho nitrobenzoic acid is more than para nitrobenzoic acid, more than meta nitrobenzoic acid, than benzoic acid. So, generally, OH group will have both electron donating as well as minus I effect. Hence, orthohydroxybenzoic acid more than metahydroxybenzoic acid, more than benzoic acid, more than parahydroxybenzoic acid. Similarly, NH2 group has a strong plus R and weak minus I effect. 
Because of that reason, it forms zwitter ion. Hence, ortho effect is reduced, so it will form a zwitter ion. Benzoic acid more than meta amino benzoic acid, more than para amino benzoic acid, more than ortho amino benzoic acid. I hope these are the points you have understood. If you are not understood, go through this once again. And if you have any doubt, you can comment. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.